Well, this is what we're doing today. I was out here on the weekend. Got a faulty gas valve. So, 20 year old tank, it's due. So, Mike and I are gonna take care of it. Not a big deal. I should just get the pump, huh? You know what? Yeah, let me get the pump because it'll just be faster. You know what? You might want to get a screwdriver, open that up, and see if we got any water there. See if we're going to have to yank that uh, yank that drain. today anyways because it's Monday and we got a lot of stuff to do are all crooked. Let's see what happens. I do have a battery in it this time. It's pumping. Still pumping, so got the cold water shut off. Yeah, I'll cut it right here. For ease of installation right now, let's take my power vent off. So we can get our unions on and we won't damage the power vent. We gotta unplug it on the bottom. Okay, lift it up. There we go. Just so it's out of the way. 
sets expensive part. Set you up here. You got any stubs, Mike? but now it's starting to heat up.
got to get that out of there, so we're working on it. All right, out with the old. Probably going to have to do some gas repiping. came out of that that's the burner holy smokes wow. yeah we're gonna have to gas piping's all whack but we'll deal with that some reason we don't exactly line up. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw some 90s on it, but the, ga the gas pipe is wacky. So, what I'll do, Mike, is, uh, Take this union off here, and then we'll come out, throw a T right here with your drip leg and everything, and then we can adjust this to where it's going to line up for what we want. So you're going to T, come up with a short nipple, and 90, so this is probably going to have to swing out like that. Okay. There's one in the D. Yeah, you got some of the truck. So... You work on the gas. You know, let, me, let, me get the, let me get the pleasure. Got your favorite stuff for your pleasure blue dope for your pleasure you, i know you guys like your pleasure man they, they ask for pleasure all the time they're like, they're like horse blue dope horse <laughs>
camera right here. It sucks, man. We're in the middle of a freaking working on top of each other here. I'm I'm thankful though it's in a in a garage today. Shit, man. I wonder if I get any street nineties on the truck. Forty-five. Because I can't slide the water heater over anymore. Stupid locking bar. Hit a 45 it. Let's see.
on. Is that, can you pull that up, Mike? I think I can a little, because I tried. Morning, I'm gonna get scolded for not using the tape measure. I thought my I thought my eye was good. Your, your eye tape? <laughs> yeah. Your pat your patented eye tape. <laughs> just like right on top of each other. You got your PVC cutter out? Um, I did. Stop putting stuff away. I thought, it was, I thought we were done. No! Sorry. <laughs>
Do you need primer and glue? Man, that gas line's taking longer than the water heater itself. I know. I'm fumbling. Yeah, go go bike another eight miles. <laughs> go bike another eight miles. Mike Mike goes out on the weekend and he bikes. He's got a he's got a big wheel bike and he's he's getting in shape for I don't know what. clear. Oh shit. Where are those uh, PVC fittings that you brought? Oh, I got those too. Forgot. Here I am waiting on Mike again. Sorry. I don't think we've been here but a half an hour yet. Looks like that other tank was burning a little dirty. I got soot in that that pipe. Got some soot up there. Not much. Just a little dark. What are you gonna do? Come on, Mike. What the hell is this? It's like gelatinous freaking. <laughs> you got another one or no? Um, I can look. Shows you how much we do on PVC on service. Alright, now, this is even a little thick. Holy crap. And twist. guys back here. Can't really get you in there, it's kind of small.
seven and three quarter. Seven and three quarter. service faster and cleaner pipe cutter PVC cutter so take a phone call and we got everything together and here Mike the viewers want to see this yes they do they want to see the gas leak check don't be shy spray that thing we'll just wipe everything out Okay, we're good. <laughs> we'll get a rag here. Didn't quite. We got our little drip leg off for condensation. This is a non condensating water heater, but in times it will produce condensation in the fluid due to exterior temperatures. We had a 45, we didn't line up right. We had to kind of jockey this around because that didn't line up right because the old lock of our gas came in the top but that's it it took us about how long did it take us man 45 minutes an hour yeah 40 45 minutes i'd say yeah about 45 minutes to an hour and we're up and running no gas leaks we're good so i i actually condemned it Yesterday, yesterday was Sunday. I was on call this weekend, so condemned that gas valve Sunday. I told him over the phone, I'm like, it's probably the gas valve. Probably the gas valve. And he told me, he's like, well, you know, I need to tell my wife something. Okay, well, tell her it's bad and you need a new one because she already said, hey, why don't you buy a new one? So I had to be the bad guy and come out here on Sunday just to tell the wife hey you need a tank so he wasn't home and we just uh, he's one of our customers we installed the furnace from him for him last year it's been a customer for like 20 years we installed the first furnace and then his other furnace failed uh, hit a faulty heat exchanger horizontal and uh, we had when I came out here yesterday, yeah, I gave him a price, and he's, he agrees to it. And he's like, well, I might not be home, so he just gave me the code to the side of the garage, and in and out, we're done 45 minutes. That's how long it took us. So, we are off to the next one. And uh, I've got to start getting more videos up. I've been kind of busy with uh, boiler installs. And... It's been kind of fast paced, didn't have, you know, kind of, didn't have time to film anything. It's just fast paced, get it done. Big jobs in a day and you just don't, you don't have time to, to actually, uh, you know, film anything. So that's what, it, that's what's been going on lately. It's just, I've been very busy, um, just trying to get trying to get stuff ready for winter you know customers have been calling me I quoted back in the summer for boilers and such and and uh, finally they're getting around to say hey you got to get them put in you got to get these things put in because you know we're running out of time and it is I don't know what, what's, what's today's date October something or another October 18th 
So, I mean, we had started heating season back. Oh, geez, probably the almost the first week of September. Um, so I've been full-fledged heating. I haven't touched any air conditioning since... I touched... No, take that back. Um, no, I haven't touched an air conditioner since probably the second week of September. So I'm in full-fledged heating season now. Every call I go to is heating, 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 you know, startups, inspections, uh, installs, just before it starts getting cold here. And this week, we're hitting in the lows in the, the 40s. So it's going to get busier. I'm going to get more videos up. It's just, I, you know, between, you know, not having in, anything interesting to film and installs, I just haven't hit the content so you guys like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one hopefully soon